bevo.com. Uh, Dr. De Bono, what advice would you give to entrepreneurs that are just launching their businesses now? Is this a really bad time to launch? Well, there's different types of entrepreneur. There's entrepreneurs who say, I'm going to do what other people are doing, but I'm going to do it cheaper or better or something. There are entrepreneurs who say, here's a really new idea and I believe I can make it work. And there's entrepreneurs who say, I'm going to do the same as everyone else does, but I'm going to do it in a part of the world or country where they're not doing it. And there's different things. In other words, for some of them, there's a need for the new idea. For others, no, there's a need more for competence, energy, determination. I once uh, wrote a book on, uh, it's called Tactics, on interviews of very successful people. And the two things which came out of it, because some of them were tough people, some of them were shy people, some of them were ruthless, some of them were sensitive. One is single-minded determination, and the other is expectation that you would succeed, you would get there. Not explanation that it, expectation that it would just happen to you, but that you would get there. Like a mountain, yes, I shall climb it. So single-minded determination and expectation, you would get there, and every little blip or problem or ditch on the way was there to be crossed. Those are the two things which came. These are very successful people who made it, yes. Yeah, was I read that book, Tactics, and it's a brilliant book. Um, in the book, you say there's sort of four key areas that will most likely generate into success, and you mentioned those to be lucky, a little mad, talent, and a rapid growth field. So I understand three of those areas, but could you just tell us a little bit about the a little mad? What's that all about? Well, you see, when you do something which is different from the way other people do it, or look at it differently, then by definition you are mad. If you prove that your madness works, then they have other adjectives. But at first, it's, it's mad. mad. I mean, similarly with uh, my lateral thinking. If uh, provocation, where you say something which sounds absolutely impossible, I'll give you an example. I was talking to the ecology group in California, about 700 people, and they said we have a problem with rivers and factories on the river put out pollution and people downstream suffer. So using provocation and the word I invented, PO, provocative operation, PO the factories downstream of itself. Sounds pretty mad. How can it be at A and B at the same time? From it comes a very simple idea that we legislate that when you build a factory on the river, your input must be downstream of your own output. So you're the first to get to your pollution, have to be concerned and cleaning it up. And I'm told, I don't know how true it is, that's now been legislation, become legislation in 30 countries. Very obvious. But at first it sounds mad. How can it be downstream of itself? Yeah. Yeah. Um, another one really is what sounds very mad, and I was talking about this to Boeing engineers, uh, po, a plane should land upside down. Sounds mad. I mean, how can you possibly get anything useful out of that? Well, plane lands upside down, the wings give you downward thrust. So from that we get the idea, you have a normal plane and you have two small winglets upside down which give you downward thrust. Now what's the value of that? The value is you have a negative bias and if you need extra lift in an emergency you just cancel those winglets by flapping them up or attracting them and instantly you get extra lift. And 70% of air crashes are caused by the inability to switch on lift instantly. And here you have a way of doing it. So from starting with a plane landing upside down, ending up with a very interesting idea. Bevo.com